hi guys welcome to my channel that hair um today i've already tried to do this reading once um and some technical problems went on I had to get another phone wiped all my um reading so i had to do this reading again so um today's reading is about um messages for fathers for father's day um so we have the i chose the emperor um cards because it depicts three types of fathers so i have the uh original rider weight tarot deck the lightsis tarot and the labyrinth deck here um so three complete different uh fathers i would say here so um this is pile number one the ride away deck pile number two is the light stairs deck and pile number three is the labyrinth deck i've shuffled all the cards out so um you'll get different decks in different in these different um decks so without further ado, you can choose your card, which is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Hello, pile number one. Um, you have chosen the Rider Weight. If I can get it, the Rider Weight Tarot, and this father looks very extremely proud. Um, kind of a wisdom kind of fellow um kind of uh very grandured very kind of authoritative um kind of um kind of ruled roost so to speak so this father i'll just pop that there so this is um i'll just pop him there so that's part number one. So I'm going to get straight on to your labyrinth deck. So we have three cards of the labyrinth deck. We have the hermit. We have three pots. And we have judgment. Right. So. Oops. So. What I feel is I'm getting here. Is. Um, something's gone on emotionally draining here. So someone, whether it's you the father or the child or father the figure or something like that, has gone into a hermit mode because it is too emotionally uh, draining on you. You're draining being um, you're draining actually having a good time for your creative skills and everything. And I think it's through the fear of being judged. You're not lifting yourself up because the fear of being judged. This is what I'm getting here. So I would say whatever, whatever is going on here is emotional. And I feel like Hmm. There's a lot of judgment, so I don't know whether it's between a father and son or a daughter. There's a lot of judgment going on here. 
Let me get your light says cards up and see where we go from here. Upside down temperance. So what were you, oh my God. So what were you, why are you not tempted by something that someone's advised you? I feel like somebody's advising you something, but you're not accepting of it because of some sort of judgment. And we've got the three of cups on the three of cups. However, this three of cups is upright. So possibly through not taking this temptation, you're starting to have all these emotional feelings and they're starting to turn into your favour. They're starting to, you're starting to celebrate now. So I'm wondering whether in a past event that you had um, been in a hermit phase, it was emotionally draining and it was for the fear of judgment. But I think this judgment is being overcome, but there's some sort of temptation you haven't took. And I think... I think by not taking that temptation, you're actually winning because we now have the Ten of Pentacles on judgment. And it's kind of like you're sticking your fingers up to judgment. It's kind of like um, because I'd done things my way and I wasn't tempted. Um, so now I have a loyal family. I am. I have a abundance of... Um, joy happiness money love wealth sisterhood um it's all there it's all there it's now all there so i'm gonna get up the um temptress and i'm gonna try and get an affirmation out for you on this so you can you can say this is a, it's an affirmation if you want I walk in the middle path and I nourish my spiritual wholeness. Yes, because you have the wings here. You have the wings here. So I would say you're blocking messages. So is this... Hmm. Is, is there a parent or a child that is no longer with us? Is this, am I talking to someone who has a parent or child that is no longer with us? The pain and the hurt was draining that you had to go in. You were being judged by others and by not taking the temptations that people have been giving you. You have overcome this kind of overwhelming kind of um, draining and then turned it into creative joy and abundance. So I'm now going to get the three of cups up. Here we are. And again, you can say this if you want in your in your little rituals. I connect into my sacred sisterhood or brotherhood, you can say brotherhood, and into my expansive experiences of wisdom through time. So you're expanding yourself emotionally, physically, mentally. So emotion, your emotions are going to be coming through quite clearly now. So I'm now going to get the Ten of Pentacles. So yet, yeah, I did say about successful, not within saying being successful, but this says, and you can say this as well, I am successful and I share my wealth with those I love. And I did say you're going to be loveful and it's going to be loyal, it's going to be joyous. It's going to be a lot of things that you want 
in life and it's going to be grounding so i'm now going to get out your moonology cards oh this goes so well with the first card the hierophant and temptation um so we have work through your feelings Form, uh, last quarter moon in Aries and the Emperor is ruled by Aries so yeah you've been taught and you've been working through this has just clarified this whole reading you have been working through your feelings and the next card is the last quarter moon in Taurus be proud of yourself yeah, be proud of what you've accomplished. Because you have got through some rough times by the looks of it, power number one. You've got through some rough, rough times. Right, so I've just got your moon uh, manifestation um, Okay, so that we can give you a mantra and some crystals or something that you can possibly use to keep this good work that you're doing up. So, um, manifestation mantra is, um, I now choose to release all my hurt and it, and so it is. Yep, you've released you have released and um good crystals for this um is tiger's eye which i i do use i i take everywhere with me shungite bloodstone um and flame agate there are more but i can't pronounce them so um you can use those sort of crystals as well to um help you um so i'm now going to get the last quarter moon in taurus and your um manifesting affirmation is i am unique and beautiful soul so you have to believe in yourself that you are unique, that you are protected, that you are everything that you say you are. And the crystals that you can use is Labradorite, um, Green um, Fluorite, Garnet, Red Jasper, Honey Calcite or Pink and Yellow Moonstone. So they're the crystals that you could use to help um, help you guide you through this. But I think you're well on your way to, to sorting this out. And with this emperor, um, it looks like you're very wise. At the start of the reading, I couldn't tell what was going on, but... It looks like you have had problems, you've dealt with the problems, you're now starting to become abundant, you're teaching yourself how to walk through your feelings. You've you probably got to ground yourself and be a bit more grounded. So I'm now going to get your um, gratitude card out. And you can say these as a mantra as well, if you wish. So it says... My grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. You've just worked yourself out in the darkest period as possible. Yeah. And it says on the back, I am so proud of my inner strength, my inner abilities to overcome time, hard times. What was I saying? I am grateful that the universe provides me with the strength that I need to let go of what no longer serves me. So there we are, pile number one. You have done your inner work.
you are heading on the world of greatness. And I'll just turn it over. So, that is your reading, pile number one. So, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Um, click the notification bell on all. I upload nearly every Saturday. I am, <laughs> I nearly didn't get a film up a couple of weeks ago. So, um, please forgive me if I don't get a film up. But yeah, every Saturday usually I have a film up for you. So, bye. And I also forgot to say there, before I go, sorry. Um, happy Father's Day to all fathers, whether they're with us, whether they're step, whether they're fathers that are mothers, mothers that are fathers. Whoever father you are, happy Father's Day. Hi, pal two. Uh, you have chosen the light says tarot deck um, card. Now, this father, um, I feel, is kind of a bit more easygoing. A very passionate what he does, um, grounded with also a little bit of um, kind of um, spiritual, very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable, but very kind of um, not laid back at such, but sort of kind of a bit more um, kind of less strict but very kind of um let's let's sort this out for you yeah so i'm just going to pop this just just there and we're going to start by getting into your labyrinth cards we have three labyrinth cards so we have the six of cups six of cups and we have the empress that would have been good if that came out in the um part one because the empress was the next card in the um just get that like that and we have the page of pots Let's sort this out, shall we? Let's sort this out. There we are. That's a bit better. Let's get that all in here. So, um... <coughs> um... So you're overflowing with emotions with an idea but you're blocking it and i feel this is a young person i feel like this is a person who is in their sort of uh 20s <coughs> excuse me and um i um I've lost my train of thought. I feel like you're going to someone who who is like a father figure. Might not be a father figure, but it's like a father figure. And I see growth here. You're blocking your growth in the... You see the sunflower? There? It's like you're blocking your growth, you're blocking you you're blocking giving birth to something. 
also um could this be a daughter to a father figure or a father uh, that's got loads of emotions that probably want to come forward and grow um because i see um a few open pots and a few closed pots so who are you closing yourself off to you are you you know there's there's something being closed off i think that's why you're being blocked with an idea something is being closed off let's get your um your um Rider weight, Rider weight decks. Oh yes, it's just come back to me. Um, the page of um, poles is um, wands. So you are a young fiery person as well, but also so is the Empress. The card is very fiery, ruled by um, Aries. So yeah, still. And we have another, um, uh, with your Rider Waite deck, we have another page here. And we've got the page of cups on the cups. So again, that just clarifies, uh, I think I'm talking to someone in their possible early to late 20s. Again, holding back your fire, blocking your heart chakra. There's something being blocked here. You're guarding your heart. You've got a lot of pages here. And we've got the page of definitely someone young. This I'm talking to someone definitely young. Because we have the page of wands as well. So very intelligent, very passionate, very emotional, very fiery. You've got a lot of thoughts going on with all these emotions going on. And I feel you're blocking gifts being presented to you. It's a blockage here. And I would say it's more in your heart and solar plexus chakra. And your solo sh um, solar plexus chakra is just above the belly button but just below the heart chakra and your heart chakra is near your heart so yeah there's there's a lot of you could even be blocking travel could even be blocking travel because you're very knowledgeable very knowledgeable so i'm gonna get out the um moonology cards let's see what we've got here new moon in gemini 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 <laughs> which i've just done a film about gemini think it through think it through and last moon in gemini 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 <laughs> clear your mind so yeah so there's a lot of um air movement very intelligent very knowledgeable uh very smart but way way too much in your head you need to think it through. You need to think things before doing stuff. There's there's an element of mystery about you, Pile 2. An element of mystery. You're not... I feel you're very closed off. So I'm going to try and get... Um... A mantra rate for you to read which I've got knowledgeable is power 
and I am powerful. What did I say? You're very thoughtful, you're very knowledgeable, you're very... There's, there's something there. And they're all saying that there's a guardian angel sac, sad, cal, sad cal. I'm not very good at these um, angel names, but um, who is associated with passion and forgiveness to help you uh, clear your past hurts that um, could otherwise block you what was i saying the thoughts that you are having are blocking you the thoughts that you are having you're not letting on to what you want you're not letting on and if you're not letting on and letting people in then you're blocking call in the energies of the planet mercury which guides um, Gemini, close your eyes and meditate on the on your desire for the last five minutes. What comes up, write it down. And this is why they're saying, think it through, clear your mind. Right, so I've got your gratification here, card here, pile two, um, and it says... Be grateful for where you're at and excited for where you are going. So if you unblock yourself, you can be going so far, but at the same time, be grateful for where you are to take that thought in. I am grateful for every blessing the universe has guided me and I am grateful for. What are you grateful for? There we are. And on the back there. Okay, part number two, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up, hit that notification down below, um, click that notification bell on all, um, I try and upload every Saturday um, and I just want to take this time to say Happy Father's Day to all fathers, uh, whether you're a father, whether you're a mother who's a father, um, a father who isn't with us. Um, so, yeah, any fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Bye, power number two. Hi, power number three. You have chosen the labyrinth. Uh, Empress, uh, Empress, Emperor. Um, this gentleman looks a little bit tired, a little bit haggard. So, are you a father that's just had a newborn, or are you a father that's about to have a newborn, or are you just absolutely naked? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I chose, like I said, I chose the Emperor because, um, it's a a formative figure, sort of like a father figure. So if I pop that just there, and I will get your light seers cards out, and we will have a look. Queen of Wands, so very very passionate. Strength. And the lovers. I do like that lovers card. So, you, to me, it looks like you're blocking, 
block, blocking a lot of passion, a lot of kind of um, a lot of joy in your life. You're blocking, and I think you need to find some strength from somewhere to bring yourself out of that blockage and deal with. Um, and I think the love aspect could be about uh, a relationship you might have you might have to find the strength to love yourself before loving your partner or maybe you find it hard to love a partner at the moment or you've had this booming sort of baby come on board and you've got nothing but love so um, I'm going to get the, um, like it says, cards, a uh, book out. Oh, and I opened it straight at the Queen of Wands. And it says, you can use this as my affirmation, I fill my world with an intense light that connects me and incites passion. So maybe you're blocking, yeah, you're, blo you're blocking your passion side. You need to become more passionate. You need strength to become more passionate. So I'm just going to get the strength, strength card. And again, you can use this as a mantra. Um, I deliberate bringing compassion and strength towards and uh, uh, forwards and use them for good. So yeah, you you're trying to do something about being blocked. And for the lovers, um, my heart is open, deeply and meaningful um relationships i and i expand into this union with love and trust so i feel like this is a new relationship and you're about to either it could be a birth of a relationship Giving birth to a relationship. Could be that. But you have the Nine of Cups. Upside down. So there is some very draining energies going on here. Judgment. I think group one had judgment as well. Funny enough, this was upside down, I think, as well. See all these people in with naked bodies. That's the passion they're talking about. That's the fiery passion they're talking about and being judged. Um, I, I'm getting the feeling maybe you might have a body image problem and that's why you're having fear of love and judgment. You're scared of your body and that's why you haven't got the fiery passion to kickstart. But it will all, if you, if you just unblock um it will all come through to you because you've got the ten of you've got ten of coins here so you can ground yourself in love you can honestly ground yourself in love here you've got the abundance of love you've got the abundance of being loyal you've got the abundance of having a good wealthy life with this person And as I just looked at my clock then, on the phone, it said 0606. So if you need to Google that, Google that. Because if you believe in angel numbers like I believe in angel numbers, that might resonate with you. Right, so I'm now going to get your Moonology cards up. Another Aries. And I must say, the Empress card 
is an Aries ruler. Aries rules the Empress card in Tarot. So, in a, a full moon in Aries, call your emotions. Yeah, call your emotions. And then you've got a full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Let your fears dissolve. Now, I know uh, Aries can be um, a very kind of... Um, fire and passion and I want it now and cancer is kind of like yeah 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 but whatever and then in their in their shell they're fearful that's why they have a suit of armor on because uh, one faces value um they're sort of like yeah whatever I'm I'm not I'm not upset yeah fuck off do whatever you want kind of thing but in their shell why why are you doing this to me and i feel this is is, is a little bit possibly you're doing that or someone's doing that to you it's sort of like a i'm not going to show you the true me me yet until you love me so i'm going to get the moonology cards out and see where we go from there. Um, full moon in Aries. So, the affirmations you can use for full moon in Aries is Out of this, only good will come. Um, you can use essential oils in the diffuser. I'm not sure which oils, though, as of yet. Um, you can um, find a comfortable seated, seated position and gently close your eyes. Call on Athania, the warrior god, goddess, to give you the courage you need to work through emotions. Ask Athenia to surround you with her energy so that you can transmute anger into healthy anger and even love, including in dramas with others. So I, I did think this might be a bit of a self-love thing as well. So maybe it could be a bit of a, a self-love thing. It could be a, a thing that's going on with you and a lover at the moment. But things will correct themselves if you just work through them. And this just resonates so perfectly i've got your gratification card out here and this just resonates so perfectly it says everything is possible when you have the right people to support you and then on the other side it says dear whoever you're speaking to thank you for helping me through hard times this year and uh my guiding light and you help me to be better every day thank you also for what you're thankful for and then love and light and then who you're thankful for so there we are and on the other side So, uh, pile number three, if you like this um, reading, please give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, uh, click on, um, oh, hit subscribe for me, 
not the notification bell, hit subscribe. Uh, click on the notification bell on all. I upload every Saturday and uh, part number three. Happy Father's Day to any fathers, any mothers who are fathers, stepfathers, fathers that are not with us, any father at all. Happy Father's Day. Bye.